So I just unboxed the cloth and paper subscription box. If you guys want to see my first impressions and how I talk through all of these products, please keep on watching. Okay, just got my cloth and paper order. Really excited to see what's in it. So this is going to be my first reactions to um, this month's stationery box and I'm so excited. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I have the pen inspiration box also in here. And then uh, what's inside? Yeah, the typical cards. And then I can see the really nice August uh, monthly sort of um, journaling card, which is really great because it fits in um, my new agenda in the little window pocket. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description box. Um, I show you how I set up a basic A5 agenda. So really excited about this. Let's get into it. Cute little sticker. And here we go. Oh my gosh, there's like so many things in here. Okay, first of all, this paper clip though. Do you see that from the Penspiration box? Wow, really cute, really cute. We'll get into this later, but uh, let's see the other things first because I'm more so excited about whatever this is. Wow, so cute. Look at this. Okay, so we get um, some more beautiful uh, gold foiled stickers with um, happy hour, nail appointment, salon appointment, dinner date, coffee, me time. I love this. Those are all like sort of uh, phrases and words that I use anyways with my regular planning, except for happy hour. I don't really use happy hour that much, um, but um, yeah, really cute. I love that. I feel like it's very functional, very functional stickers, and I love the look of it with the gold text. Really, really chic. Let's open it up to see. Okay, so as I was saying, we get four sheets. Really, really cute. Really, really nice. And yeah, I love it. So chic. And also, at the same time, I want to show you um, with the binder that I received with last month's stationery box. And I created sort of a uh, sort of sticker holding kind of um, inserts for it. So I'm going to just go ahead and put these stickers in um, to my new little binder. If you guys want me to film a video on how I made these little pockets um, using laminating sheets, please let me know in the comments below and then I'll try to upload that as well. But really, really cute. As you can see, I have like all my really functional stickers um, in the cloth and paper binder that we received last um, month and I've been loving this system. So I just keep this on my desk for easy access. Okay, let's go into the other things. Oh my God, so cute. Okay, staycation, sick days, sleeping in, drinks, room service, naps, mani putties, zero stress, cabana naps. Very cute. I think these are just journaling cards. Ooh. Very cute this month with the journaling cards. Let me just get this out. So we're getting Don't Be a Lady, Be a Legend. We're getting Lipstick, Louis, and Lashes. So cute and out of the office. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love these. These are so cute for um, just decorating the planner, making it look cute, but at the same time kind of minimalistic and really, really um, pretty as well. I love them. So cute. I love all of these. Very girl boss sort of vibes. Really, really love that as well. And it's great for people who are girly, but also um, relatively um, minimalistic as well. Love this so much. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I got the August monthly inserts, which which I love because um, I actually have the July ones from last month and I've been using them quite a bit as well in my Louis Vuitton A5 agenda. And as you can see, it comes with the monthly spread and then the weeklies. So this is really great because since last week, I've been using um, the July monthly spreads and I'm just gonna show you guys that really quickly in my agenda as well. Since I was using this layout from last year's monthly July spread, I'm able to now use the August ones and continue sort of the system that I founded, which was to use it um, as my day-to-day -day planner. Oh, I also get September in here as well, which is great. That's amazing, two months in, in one box, that's great. But anyways, as I was saying, I also have the desk agenda uh, from Cloth and Paper with similar layout. So the Cloth and Paper desk agenda looks like this. 
And since it's kind of the same layout, I've doubled this cloth and paper agenda up as a word of the day sort of um, organizational system. So now that I have this month's uh, monthly inserts, blank monthly inserts, I can just put that uh, system in place again and use it for this month. So that's really exciting for me and I really love that. So I'm just gonna put this down. Really, really happy with this item as well. So cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cute as well. Look at this, it's a vellum sheet. A 2020 vellum sheet that is so chic and so elegant I love this because it's like giving me all the items for next year as well and I can plan ahead and also um, have that set up already so I don't have to print out or buy from a different store a 2020 full year calendar so this is great really love that okay additionally we have undated insert which is amazing this seems like an undated daily insert and you got the day and month up here priorities a to-do checklist notes down here and then a 7 a.m. to a 9 p.m. Uh, hourly schedule I love this this is so useful and functional for um, every month and I'm just gonna be loving having this uh, available in my agenda at all times so that is super cute okay let's continue on um other things oh my gosh this is so cute we have little little journals mini journals little um paper paper books i guess um this one what does this say iconic goals iconic ideas iconic plans that is so adorable and it's in this nice blush nude pink let's open it up and see what's inside oh my gosh it's a really nice texture it's kind of like a waxy cardboard texture really really tough and really nice exterior i was expecting this to be like muji um paper uh planners but no it's not it's like a waxy finish really really nice so let's see and then just a small logoing oh okay so on the inside it's just these really plain journals with a margin i love these margins because you can always write lists and stuff and check them off and this is great iconic goals iconic ideas iconic plans now this size a5 is really great if you guys saw my last video of that new quilted agenda that i set up there is actually a place in that agenda for me to put in little notebooks and i feel like this would fit in perfectly so here's the quilted agenda that i showed in my last video i'm just going to show you guys and over here as you can see um, there was a pocket and I feel like this would fit in beautifully over here in this little pocket and it really does so I can have this in my notebook as well and then it just simply closes really well so whenever I open up this I can have sort of a notebook in here as well to write down ideas and plans I feel like I can put this at the back of the agenda as well let me just show you guys really quickly there's a pocket in the back here as well so i feel like for these little uh notebooks that i received in this month's cloth cloth and paper subscription box it works in really well with this new agenda that i just purchased so i'm just gonna slide that in there and look at that that is just a perfect fit i'm loving this this is amazing everything is like coming together so nicely with all my stationary purchases and now i have these little notebooks that i can kind of slide in the back and just have it ready to go this is amazing i don't even have to buy more notes pages for this last section of my um, miscellaneous tab this is amazing i love that so all of the things from cloth and paper fit in really nicely with a lot of my other existing stationery and that's just amazing it's like less things for me to think about and um yeah it just is th that's amazing i love that okay so that's what i'm going to be using that for love that first impression wise and then i have two other binders as well that i can use so this one let's see if it's also um note paper grit and grind oh very nice look at this it is dotted um grid paper dot grid paper really really nice really fine little dots so it doesn't kind of get in the way of your writing really pretty and again it's like that waxy texture which is really nice as well very nice very black as well love that and then we have this one legendary goals legendary ideas legendary plans let's see which kind of paper is in this one I've just opened that up and oh this is a weekly 
kind of agenda. This is amazing. Undated agenda. This is amazing. I love this. This would be great if um, you have over, overly stocked of um, agenda materials. You can actually give this as a gift and I think it, people would really appreciate this as well. I love this, but also you can use it for yourself. I'm wondering where I can integrate this in. I'm thinking maybe in my Louis Vuitton Epi leather agenda. I can slip this in my back secretary pockets and just have more space to write or I can do the same thing as I did with that other agenda. I can just have um, extra weekly pages back here which is really really cute as well and the aesthetic matches really perfectly with the rest of my agenda which is very minimalistic as well. So yeah, I'm like overly happy with that as well. So nice functional items, really really great subscription box this month. So I'm really excited to use all of the new products that I got um, in this month's stationery box. Really, really functional items. And yeah, I'm excited to show you guys how I integrate this into my planning system as well in future videos. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, let's move on to the Penspiration box because that's really exciting as well. Okay, so for the Penspiration box, it always comes with a tester right here. So let's try this out. Pen refill, I believe which has a little wax bubble on it, which is great because it keeps the ink nice and juicy. So if I'm not using this now and using it in the future, it'll still run nice and smoothly as if it was freshly open. So always keep that little wax seal bubble on there. So that's that. I'm thinking maybe it goes with this pen, but I'm not sure. Oh, so really nice. First of all, you get this like sort of, um, what do you even call this? Plastic, soft plastic pen case inside of it we get this really nice pen it's like really weighty and really nice a hard metal pen it's a clicky pen which is nice as well and again you have that wax on there so i'm gonna open this pen up because i want to use it and let's test this out so what do we call this pen um i'm not sure what it's called the actual name but i'm just gonna write blue pen and really inky and juicy and just really great quality i love that really nice pen moving along there's another pen refill i'm wondering if this is also for this pen or if it goes with another pen but really nice indeed always good to have pen refills and then obviously there is a paper clip, which is so cute. Look how gold this is. I love gold. As you can see, I love wearing gold bracelets and stuff. So gold is definitely my, up my alley. Totally my vibe. Wow, it really like holds on really well to paper. It's like very, very sturdy and secure. Really nice and really cute. I've never seen a big paper clip like this before but it's like really tough metal, if that makes any sense. It's not like plasticky or flimsy at all. It's actual metal. So the quality is definitely there. Really cute, really excited about that. Um, continuing on, there's this pen right here. This is a Deli pen. It's 0.5 mm as well. Really, really inky. This one, I feel like it would bleed on really soft paper, but um, obviously on this cardstock, it's not bleeding, so it's quite nice as well. Really nice. I want to just try. Um, H P B R. Let's try highlighter Because sometimes with these inky pens, the highlighter would bleed after I put um, the pen down. So I'm just gonna test it out. And okay, it's really, really great. I don't know why I put test with a with 2T. I think I, don't, I wasn't paying attention, but yeah. Highlighter test works perfectly and yeah, really nice. So that's that. Ooh, we get one of these like Kaleido sort of pens. This is a Kako Green um, pen. So really, really cool. I to do a highlighter test on this one as well. And then um, I'm gonna test it out with a mild liner. And very nice, it doesn't bleed at all as you can see. So I'm really impressed with that. I love um, this pen right here. And for this pen, um, the purpose I'm gonna use this for, I already know. You, you guys know I already have a pocket agenda and in here there's like this big pen loop that uh, a lot of 
smaller pens don't fit in and I typically use a, a similar pen to this one which is a little bit thicker and I feel like this would work perfectly with this agenda and it really does. I can bring all my pens with me at once with this um, kind of um, all-in-one sort of pen that we received in this month's cloth and paper subscription box and it works out perfectly in this agenda and I love it because the ink in it is very nice and uh, inky and thick and it's different from the original pen that I use from Muji which is not as thick and not as nice the other one is like a ballpoint pen and these ones are gel pens so uh, I love this even more so really cute I'm gonna be using this um, for this agenda right here. So I already have a purpose for it. And this is what I love about that cloth and paper subscription box. A lot of the things that um, comes with it, like I use, I use it functionally and I don't have to waste my time each month to search for product. It's just everything works out really nicely in my lifestyle and in my planning systems. So I don't know, I'm just, I'm just really impressed. Anyways, last one here. Ooh, this is really nice. This is really heavy. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's like a heavy pen. So how does this work? Does it just pull out like that? Okay, so it pulls out like that. And I'm thinking maybe this is for this right here because the nibs look kind of similar. So I don't know if that's the refill for this pen, but let's just remove this little wax ball right here. Ooh. Oh my God, this writes so nicely. It's so fluid and juicy. Ooh, very nice. I don't know if you guys can see, but if I press down, it like pumps more ink out. Whoa, very inky, very nice and juicy. I love this. Let me try a highlighter test. Test. And really nice. It doesn't bleed whatsoever as well. So I'm very, very impressed with all the pens I got in this month's subscription box as well. Really, really nice. Everything writes really, really well. And yeah, I'm just so happy about all of the products. Oh my God, I love it. It's like a prize every month that I purchase in advance for myself. I love this. So yeah, that's the video. That's my first impression of this month's August cloth and paper subscription box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was a little bit all over the place because I haven't filmed a video in a hot second and haven't really um, spoken uh, live to a camera in a while. Um, well, some of them were live, but as you can notice, I'm getting back into the groove of things and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of my all over the place scrambly kind of wordy video. Hopefully I'll improve um, as I go on to film more videos. So yeah, that was kind of my first impressions of the cloth and paper subscription box. Um, things I mentioned in this video, um, I'll link down in the description box below. If you guys want to check out my Etsy shop, it's linked down below as well. If you guys have any other questions, leave it in the comments. I'll try to answer you guys uh, as soon as I have a second. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you guys did and subscribe for more planner content coming soon. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.